I'm Jackson Foley, I'm in grade nine. I am Melina, and I'm in grade nine. My name is Ben Thiessen, I am in grade nine. They're smaller than a uh, usual big school, but it's personally better. You get to experience more, grow with your classmates, and also have the time one-on-one -on -one with your teacher and actually making sure you understand what you're learning. The teachers are almost like, almost like a friend, but not like a parent who's trying to tell you what to do. It's someone trying to teach you, but also be there when you need it. My first school was a lot of people, over 700 kids. Kind of, it's pretty big compared to Karenport. I feel like in my opinion, I like smaller schools because then you get to like build strong relationships with every grade, not just your grade. Because when you're in bigger schools, you really only know the people in your grade. Describing the school as just one big family. It's not little groups of cliques or people being bullied all the time. We're, we're a family that have come together from around Saskatchewan and the world to learn about God and also learn new things about everyone else. Sports have a big impact. We come together not just to play sports, but to play for God. We're playing not to win, but to honor Him. It means I only have three classes in the morning, have lunch, and then we pack our bags. And the arena, it's, it's very close. It's within 30 second walk when I go up the doors by my locker, and it's just amazing to have it that close. I don't know, maybe like, the breaks between classes, it's passing the people down the hall and all grades are talking to each other. We're not, you know, grade nines are all together. We actually talk to grade 12s and the grade 11s and we're all combined as one. I think it's a very good community to be around. I think it's very helpful to be surrounded by Christian teachers and students that want to help you. I'm, I'm really happy that they're Christian teachers, especially because they help you learn like, educationally, but also spiritually. We get to learn from each other about faith, not just from the preaching and the singing. We get to learn from the people around us. I think they should choose BCA because it's a good experience, a good place to grow, not just spiritually, but emotionally and physically, and just have the experience of a smaller school, but actually feel like you're more getting cared about. That surprised me the most was probably the amount of people that there is. Like, I've pretty much gotten to know everybody, like I recognize everybody's faces, um, so I think that's very cool. I think the most surprising thing is how large your relationships with people can actually grow. Like you can make friends if you're grade 9 with a grade 12 or any other grade, even though you just joined. You could basically know everybody in this short span of time. I knew about it, but it's a lot cooler in person, knowing that it actually is true. Hi, my name is Esther. I'm in grade 12 here at Briarcrest Christian Academy. Let's go on a tour of the school. These are the offices at BCA. This is Jolene's desk. She can answer any questions you have. Down this hall is our principal's office, Mrs. Ike. Across the hall from Jolene is Mr. Zach. He can answer any questions you have about athletics or your courses. Our school consists of two hallways, one upstairs and one downstairs. This is Mr. Heimer's classroom. He is one of the science teachers here at BCA. So this is what a typical classroom looks like here. Hello everyone, I'm Nate Resch, I'm a grade 12 student here at BCA and I'll be taking you to your next stop on the BCA tour. If you 
are an international student who's thinking about joining us from overseas, uh, this place might become your new second home. Uh, say hello to Angela Lim, International Program Coordinator at Friar Christ Christian Academy. If you are an international student who's looking for some tutoring, Angela can help coordinate all of that for you. Well, let's go to our next stop, just right down the hall here. If you are a BCA student who plans on playing for the Prairie Hockey Academy, uh, this will be a great room for you. It's where you will find all of your coaches, where they will reside on a day-to-day -day basis. Now this is Caleb Willem's office. He is a uh, director of discipleship here at BCA. Uh, he is in charge of chapel and small groups. And honestly, just in general, a great guy to talk to if you're looking to grow spiritually or just to hang out with somebody. Hey guys, my name's Andrew. Uh, I'm a grade 12 student at BCA and I'll be taking you through your next stop, uh, the BCA Student Support Center. So in here, you can just find a nice quiet place to uh, study during the day. And if you ever need a tutor, just come talk to Mrs. Duncan. All right, now let's go to our next spot. So as you can see, like everybody's a little spaced out. Um, that's just due to COVID protocol. But uh, we meet in here every Friday uh, to worship and listen to Caleb's message. All right, uh, this year's Crossroads Cafe, also known as The Bean. Uh, swing by here if you want a drink or you want some food. We normally hang out here during class breaks. Let's head over to the library. As BCA students, we have access to the Briarcrest Library, which is shared by the college and the seminary. It's a great place to do research and uh, just a quiet place to study. Hey, this is the gym. This is where you'll find your BCA Cougars practicing and playing volleyball and basketball. And on Friday and Saturdays, you can also find the Briarcrest College Clippers playing their sports games. Hey, my name is Alexa. I've been here for three years. I'm currently in grade 11, and I live in Glen Manor dorm most of my time. And I'll be taking you there for the next stop. Uh, welcome to the dorm. This is our home away from home, and here is the lounge. This is where we play games, watch movies, and have our family times. This is my RD Kirsten, or my second mom. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and then over here I'll show you some rooms. This would be my room. Due to COVID, I currently don't have a roommate, but in other years I would have a roommate and living with a person you don't actually know can bring a closer relationship and you can almost feel like you have a sister away from home. And yeah, it's just fun to see the different people living across and then if you just need to talk to someone, you can just go next door or just knock on the wall. It was life-changing transitioning from public school to private school. Just as soon as I came here, I felt like I wasn't gonna fit in and that I wouldn't get along with anybody. And then I realized that it's actually a complete difference and just the community of Briarcrest, it's immaculate. It's crazy, the nice people, just the Christianity, the faith, everything just made me feel like at home. Uh, this is the den. This is where a bunch of high school students and college students do their homework and some people just come here to hang around, play board games and just be in contact with people. This right here is the coffee shop. You can get like cupcakes and stuff like that. And this over there is the projector. Sometimes I'll put football games and hockey games on just so everybody can watch. Now I'm going to take you to see the dining hall. This is the dining hall. Everyone calls it the CAF. Um, due to COVID, everything looks a little bit different, but in a regular year, high school and college students would both come eat here for lunch, breakfast, and supper. This is the 
rink. This is where our Prairie Hockey Academy teams play and our Bride Cruise Clippers teams play. In the morning, the Prairie Hockey Academy skills team practices and I attend that every single morning. Uh, throughout the day, uh, our Prairie Hockey Academy and the Bride Cruise Clippers will work out in the loft up there and usually anybody else can come work out whenever they want to, if they want to. Thank you for joining us on this tour. Hope to see you here next year.